Hey everybody, I am Dylan Estes. I am a content creator here at Plaid. And today I'd like to welcome you into our second day of our week-long streaming event for our new product showcase for 2022. Now this is really exciting because if you've been following us for a while, you'll know that we did a new product showcase last year in 2021, and it was really well received. We gave so much information about all of our new products here at Plaid across all of our brands. So we wanted to make sure to come back and give you that same information this year. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about our phenomenal line of tools. So we have under the Plaid brand, some wood burning tools and engraving tools, and we have been able to add on into those collections because they've been so successful. So we're really excited to show you today um, the core of our Plaid tool line, which is our wood burning tool, and our engraving tool, and I've got those here. If you are not familiar with them, we sell these great sets. We have several different versions of the tool, uh, depending on what skill level you're at and what kind of crafting you want to get into. So we have this deluxe wood burning set. Um, we also have a basic wood burning tool. And I'll show you that one as well. That comes with several tips. Um, both of our wood burning sets come with a great set of tips, but since we've had such a good reaction from these tools, we've actually been able to expand and grow the tip collection in our plaid wood burning tool set. So now we also offer a, um, an extra tip set. This has so many different tips for so many different types of wood burning. We've got 26 in this set, and then we've also uh, introduced an alphabet set. So that's a really cool thing um, that you can use on leather and wood and cork, and there are just so many possibilities with these tools. Now, aside from freehanding with a wood burner, uh, you might have seen patterns used before and we have introduced these great pattern packs. So we're going to be covering these pattern packs today. We have a set for wood burning, and then we also have a set for our engraving tool. So this is a really exciting and new thing for us as well because we have had our engraving tool in the line for several years. This is a little rotary tool, a battery operated cord free rotary tool, and it comes with six different tips and we are gonna jump into this and we're gonna start with wood burning. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it over to my co-host today, which is Emma. So I'll let her take it away. Awesome, thanks Dylan. So again, I want to give everybody a very warm welcome to our 2022 Plaid New Product Showcase. Like Dylan said, this morning we are going to be talking about our wood burning tools and our engraving tools and all of the lovely accessories that come with them. So um, let's get it started with all of our different wood burning tools. So Dylan kind of talked about it briefly, but let's really get into it. So we have this wood burning set, which is really great. It has a temperature control gauge. So once you um, plug your wood burning tool into your wall, you um, are actually able to control the temperature of the tool itself so that you can get different colored tints for whatever kind of projects or crafts that you want to make with your wood burning tool. So that's really great. We also have our wood burning tool. Like Dylan said, um, they are just the difference between them is that you can use them for all different types of skill levels. Whatever type of wood burning projects and crafts that you want to make, then you can find the right tool for it. So those are two really great basics for the wood burning um, category. And then like Dylan said, we also have these two really great um, tip sets. So of course we have our alphabet stamp set. So the great thing about this is that they are of course reusable. And what I like to do is when I'm actually using my wood burning tool, because of course it is gonna get a little bit warm, I like to have a pair of pliers on hand. That way I can remove the tips with my pliers and then add a new one without having to turn my wood burning tool off, wait for it to cool down, and then use my fingers to replace it. So I just like to have a pair of pliers. It makes it super easy. And that way you can create some really personalized monograms or family names or phrases to add to your wood burning projects. So the alphabet stamp set is a really, really great um, tool to have. It's also really great if you want to make a lot of projects. Instead of having to use the wood burning tip to write out the alphabet, you can actually just use the stamps to really um, achieve whatever kind of wood burning craft that you want to do. This is also a really great tool to pick up if you're a beginner in the wood burning world. Um, this is great. It is very uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? It's very satisfying. You can get a lot done in a short amount of time. So this is actually a really great tool for the beginner wood burner. So we have these great alphabet stamp sets. And then, like Dylan said, we also have this tip set. So if you pick up one of our tools, which come with their own uh, variety of tips, and you get really excited about it and you want to continue on your wood burning journey, then this is the perfect set for you. Like you can see here, we have all of these different tips at the top for whatever kind of uh, style of wood burning that you want to do, whether you want to create thicker lines or thinner lines or more rounded lines or sharper lines. We have every single different type of tip that you would need to do that. We also have these really great stamps. So similar to our alphabet stamp set, it's the same technique that you would want to do, but we have these uh, really cute little designs so that you can create a ton of different designs on your uh, wood burning projects. And then coming down here, we have some more stamps. This one is probably my favorite, this little star stamp. I've created a lot of wood burning projects with this star stamp and they are always come out really, really cute. And then we have these um, different tools, or sorry, tips that you can add to your wood burning tool. And this one I'm really excited about. This is actually a tip to add to your wood burning tool so that you can create image transferred projects onto your uh, whatever you're crafting. So it's just like it sounds. You can actually add this to your wood burning tool and then I'll show you guys, I have some examples, create these really beautiful image transferred projects. I think you made this one, Dylan, didn't you? Yeah, that was from a vacation. Yeah. So and, and as we're talking here, I just want to remind everybody, uh, I didn't do a good job at the beginning. We are <laughs> answering questions. If you want to comment, um, we will be answering your questions about all of these different plaid tools. And also be sure to comment because we're going to be giving away the whole suite of our plaid tool Ooh. collection to a commenter. So make sure you guys are tuning into the comments and participating in the comment section. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty good deal, Dylan. Yep. We'll be here all morning, so let <laughs> us know your comments, and uh, we love hearing from you guys. Let us know if you're making a wood-burning project at home. That is always so exciting to hear about what you guys are crafting at home. Um, if you have any questions, of course, let us know, um, and we will be happy to answer those questions for you. So uh, going back to the image transfer tip, so you, create, you can create these really beautiful rustic uh, designs and uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the kind of tools that you want to have in your workspace to create this like what kind of uh, printed image you want to have Dylan? Yeah so uh, as with most image transfer you actually want to work with a dry toner print so if you're unfamiliar with that that's very common in the craft industry for image transfer and it's basically a uh, Xerox copy. Yeah. Um, if you have a laser printer at home I think they're less common to have laser printers at home you usually have an inkjet printer, um, which are not good for image transfer because of the way that the ink is placed onto the paper. Since the um, toner is dry on an, a laser print, you're actually able to convert that toner to an image onto another surface. So it's really easy. It sounds a little bit hard to achieve, <laughs> but it's actually really easy. You can just go get a copy. Most big copy stores or office supply stores allow you to make laser copies. So all you have to do is make your image on your computer at home. Um, if, you're, if you have text on your image, you want to reverse it so that when you place it down, upside down, you'll actually end up getting the right readout of text. Um, and it's as simple as that, you know, several cents to get a copy. So it's really easy. Right. I feel like it sounds sort of intimidating when we tell people you need to have a certain type of print for your image transferring projects, but really it is so super simple. Like Dylan said, you just go to your local print shop, you have your USB drive and you give it to them and then they can print all of those photos for you. But that is a good tip to mention, Dylan. If you have any words or really it's just good measure to make sure you reverse that image so that when you place it down onto your surface, it is aligned the way that you want to and you don't get any backwards words or faces where you wouldn't want to have that. So um, yeah, we are, I am obsessed with the uh, image transfer tip. I think it's so cool and I love how the designs that you can create with them from your image are always really rustic looking mm -hmm. um, and they're really great to transfer onto wood and like Dylan said, leather too. 
So another great thing to mention, I think we've mentioned this a couple times before with all of our wood burning uh, live streams, but if you are a beginner wood burner, we found that um, a softer wood is really great to start out on. So um, Dylan is really the wood guy. List some softer woods, Dylan. Yeah, so um, a lot of times in your craft stores, you'll find some balsa and some basswood. Those burn really, really well. They burn quickly. And I'll show you one here. This is a pine. We offer several surfaces alongside our wood burning tools. And you can see we use the letter stamps here. Um, and it burns really quick and easy, these softwoods. So um, you might see other pieces that are like hardwoods or if you've wanted to wood burn on say like a cutting board. We actually have an example of all of the tips here on our cutting board. These harder woods are a little bit more advanced. So I would recommend starting with woods that are this light white color. You always know that's kind of a, a good sign that it's gonna be a great wood for you to start out on. Yeah, great. Okay, and another thing, so this is another one of our um, image transferred projects that we used with that image transfer tip. And of course you can tell this is not wood, but it's actually leather. So we made this really sweet little keychain. Um, and one good thing to note is that we have found that when we are transferring images onto leather or if we're burning onto the leather directly, um, a dense leather works best. And also you don't want one of those pebble grain leathers. So we want to have a really smooth, dense surface to our leather. Um, and I can see Dylan has something prepared to show us right now. Yep. But um, that's a good thing to mention. That is what we have found works best. And you always get these really crisp, clean, um, beautiful results. Yeah, so like Emma said, I've got a little project here that we again use those letter stamps. We're really excited about those because <laughs> we're tired of having to do each individual yeah. letter. We make it really we easy. We can knock them out. Boom, right, boom, boom. we make it super easy with yeah. that. But you can see this is just a, a rawhide that we're able to burn really, really quickly. So it's a great thing to use with our wood burning tool. Yeah. Um, and we've had a lot of fun going to our local leather store and picking out the, uh, the prettiest leather to use in all of our leather crafting. So that's been a lot of fun. So we've talked about our alphabet stamp set, um, which is just so great. Again, it's really great for the beginner wood burner. It's really exciting and satisfying to have those instant results. Um, and like we said, it's really easy to change out the tip. You don't have to wait for it to cool down. You can just use your pair of pliers and then twist it off and then you will be ready to burn. So we have that great alphabet stamp set. Again, our tip set, which is really great if you are really interested in wood burning, um, then this is a really great accessory to have so that you can get so many different and unique designs with this tip set. And of course, it comes with that image transfer tip, which is super exciting. We talked about our two um, wood burning tools that you can pick up. Um, and then, should we start talking about our pattern sheets still? Yeah, the, our okay. brand new pattern sheets. Yeah, so this is really an exciting thing that we are super excited to share with you all today. Dylan talked about it a little bit. We have these new wood burning pattern sheets. So if you um, are beginning your wood burning journey and you um, want to have some inspiration for some different patterns you can do, of course you can always transfer your own pattern or uh, freehand your design, but we have created these really beautiful uh, sheets of patterns that you can transfer to your wood or cork or leather surface to, um, to wood burn with. So I will actually show you guys, move this out of the way, I will show you guys all of the beautiful designs that this pattern pack comes with. So it comes with four different sheets. We'll start from the beginning. So you get these really beautiful um, border designs and some really pretty filigree patterns, which is, um, which is just a really great staple to have. I feel like this works so well with that kind of rustic look of whatever kind of wood burning craft that you would want to make. So we have these beautiful border patterns. And then I love this one. This might be my favorite page from the pattern pack. But we have these really beautiful natural botanical designs. So we have these um, designs that would work really well for garden markers. You can see to my right here, or I guess your left, we made these super cute plant pokes and we just wood burned with them. It was so simple to do with our pattern sheets. And um, this is also exciting. We have um, this surface of garden pokes that is available that we make um, at Plaid. So you can pick up both of these at the same time on plaidonline.com and um, create these really cute little garden pokes with your wood burning tool and your pattern sheets. 
Yeah, so that's a great point too. We have um, all of our new product on one landing page on platonline.com. It is linked in the description of this live video, but in case you're um, tuned into us and you don't have time to check, it is platonline.com slash new. It's very simple. So go to that um, landing page and you'll be able to purchase all of the items that we're talking about here today. Awesome. Okay, so we have these beautiful botanical designs and then we have these really cute kitchen inspired designs. So we have Let's Eat, Cooked with Love. Um, this is a really great sheet to have to create gifts with, I feel like. I, uh, it is always so thoughtful and so personal when you're able to give a crafted gift to somebody. And especially with a, um, if you were to create a crafted gift with um, our wood burning tool and some of these pattern sheets, um, it can go well with anybody's decor. I feel like a really beautiful wood burned wood project would look good in anybody's home. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the color palette of somebody's living room or kitchen. It'll match everybody's home. So this is a really great gift to give to somebody. Also, the tool and all of these accessories are, make a really great gift too. You know, Father's Day is right around the corner, it's wedding season, so these make really great gifts for the crafter in your life or somebody who is just, um, you know, wanting to have some beautiful home decor. So we have these great uh, kitchen designs. And then lastly, we have this beautiful hand lettering sheet. So you can piece together these letters and transfer them onto your surface to create names and phrases, or you can just stick with one letter and make a beautiful monogram that is really personalized for a loved one. Um, and I am actually going to show you guys how to transfer a pattern onto a, onto a wood surface. Yeah, so as Emma's getting that set up, um, these pattern packs are great because they come with these four sheets, but they also come with a piece of transfer paper. So if you've never used um, patterns to transfer before, you have a piece of graphite transfer paper and you basically lay your um, design sheet on top of your transfer paper with the powder side down, the graphite, so that it transfers to your project. And then all you do is take a stylus or a pen and scribe right over our design that we've already made for you and then you will have that design on your piece and you can just get to wood burning and it makes for a really, really simple project. Totally, okay, so like Dylan said, uh, it's super easy to use. What I like to do is I like to cut down my, pe my piece of transfer paper. So you can see I've already done that and I've gotten this little sheet. And then I like to cut down the design to a size that I'm comfortable working with. So you don't have to, you can keep this intact and just place it over your um, surface, but I like to cut it down. And then that way when I'm done with it, I can just stip it in, stick it in a little baggie so that they don't get lost and I can reuse them again and again. And that's another great thing about these um, pattern sheets is that they're reusable. So once you transfer that pattern, you can just um, keep on going and having so much fun with your pattern sheets. Okay, so as you can see, I cut that down just a tad. And I have just this simple little wood coaster. This is another uh, plaid uh, surface. There's a ton of different wood surfaces actually on plaidonline.com like Dylan was talking about. So if you want to get started with wood burning, then we have some surfaces for you to check out. So check out plaidonline.com for some of those great wood surfaces. So like Dylan said, um, we have our little sheet of transfer paper and you wanna make sure that the waxy side is down. So you'll be able to see there, there is a darker side and that's our waxy side. And then there's a chalky side and that's a little bit lighter in color and that's what you want to be facing up. So I always like to have um, some painter's tape or really masking tape, any type of tape that you have so that I can secure these two sheets to my surface. So I'm actually going to secure my coaster down to my surface so that it's not sliding around too. Okay, so we're placing our waxy side down. And I just like to have that little hinge there so I can kind of check in on my pattern and make sure it's all transferring nicely. And then right on top, I'm going to place my pattern sheet. So as you can see, I usually like to have my transfer paper just a little bit bigger than the pattern, just to make sure that whenever I do transfer my pattern down, that it's all encompassed in that 
uh, transfer sheet. That would really not be so fun if you spent all that time transferring your pattern over and then uh, it didn't actually transfer, huh? We've all done it. It's okay. It's We've an easy mistake. It. You always want to check your paper before yep. you start crafting. And hey, I'll show you a little tip too. If you want, just want to really double check, you can just make a little mark like that. See? We have that transferred down, so we're good to go. Score. <laughs> okay, so it's super simple. Like Dylan said, you can use a sharp stylus. Uh, as you can see today, I'm just using a regular number two pencil. And I actually prefer to use a pencil or a pen or something that's gonna leave a mark, just so that way when I go over my pattern, I can actually see that I've touched down with the surface and it's going to transfer, as opposed to a stylus where you can't see what spaces you've already transferred. So it's super simple, let's do it. And I love how um, intricate these patterns are too, Dylan. Uh, you get some really thin lines and then some thicker lines, so you really get that beautiful detail. Yeah, and after you're done transferring that, we'll pull that piece off, and if you hold it high up to the camera, I bet it'll give people a really good angle to see how intricate that design is and how quickly Emma was able to transfer it. It's really kind of cool. Absolutely. So, ooh, there you go. So you see just how quick and easy that was. Um, I mean, it really is so simple. We've made it so easy for you guys. We have these beautiful patterns for you to choose from, um, for you to get started. So let me make sure that's in the center again. So now comes the fun part, you guys. So you've seen just how simple it is to actually transfer a pattern over. You have your um, transfer paper in your pattern pack, so you don't have to worry about picking that up. That's all good for you. You have those four beautiful sheets for you to choose a design from. And then, now comes the fun, we're actually gonna do a little bit of wood burning. So, um, there are some safety measures that I like to follow when I start wood burning, just because it is a hot tool, and of course you don't wanna burn yourself. So, um, you know, it's nothing scary, but something that I always like to have when I'm wood burning is I like to have a clamp like this. That way I can clamp my cord to my workspace and I actually already have a different clamp uh, that's off camera so you guys can't see but just a simple little clamp like this that you can pick up at your local hardware store or your local supermarket. I like to clamp that down to my work table so that I don't have to worry about you know turning and then my wood burning tool falling somewhere where it shouldn't be. So that's a great thing to have. And then another thing that I like to have when I'm working with any type of heat tool, whether it's an image transfer tool, heat tool, or if it's our wood burner, I like to have a scrap piece of wood. And again, Dylan talked about the different types of wood that are really nice to wood burn on. This is a really soft wood that I like to just test the temperature on. And sometimes it's good to offload some of that heat too. And if you're unsure what that means, um, I turned my temperature gauge up pretty high today. so. Sometimes you wanna offload some of that excess heat so that the heat can transfer over to that scrap piece of wood so that when I do wood burn onto my pretty surface, I don't get any irregularities. In Doesn't get away from you. Right, totally. Yeah. Um, and it's not too dark. So I can also just check in on the tint and make sure that it's the right color that I'm looking for too, which is good to do. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So my wood burning tool has been heating up for a little bit. I like to just give it about 10 minutes to heat up before you can really get to its fullest potential before I start wood burning. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm just gonna test that out onto my scrap piece of wood. And as Emma's doing that, she brings up a good point. Um, sometimes people are confused about the different tools that we offer as far as wood burning goes. And we have a deluxe wood burning kit and that actually includes our deluxe tool. It has a great little rubber grip on it and it has that temperature dial. So depending on, uh, like Emma said, the color of your burn and if you're doing an image transfer, there's a lot of advantages to having that um, temperature dial. But if you are just doing straightforward wood burning, we do have the basic wood burning tool which comes um, with seven tips or six tips, sorry, mm -hmm. and that is a really straightforward tool. All you have to do is plug it in and turn it on. So there are just several different options as far as tools go. Yeah, lots of stuff to look at um, and decide which one you wanna pick up for yourself. Okay, so let's get to wood burning, you guys. I tested out my temperature and I am happy with the, um, with the color of my wood burning. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. So another great thing that we haven't mentioned yet is that we have this, um, little guard around our actual tool so that your uh, hands don't get too warm so that it really neutralizes some of that heat that might be coming off of your 
wood burning tool. So let's go, you guys. Right now, I am using a pretty thin tip. So you can see just how crisp and clean those lines are that we're able to achieve. And we'll give you guys a close up as soon as Emma's done, but I just wanted to highlight the fact that she is using um, one of the fine tapered tips from our deluxe kit. So you'll definitely want to pick this up if you want to do any kind of detail work. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll show you guys how that's looking so far. How's that look? All right, let's keep going, you guys. So the great thing about picking up um, really any of these wood burning tools, because they come with several different tips for you to choose from, but also from picking up the um, tip set, is that you have all of those different tips to achieve any type of line that you would want with your wood burning tool. So as you can see, and Dylan mentioned it, we're being a, we are able to achieve these really crisp and um, thin lines but if you would want to create larger areas or shading some of your wood burning projects, then you can just, same kind of deal. I would use a pair of pliers while my wood burning tool is on and then just unscrew the thinner tip and then get um, some, some of those thicker lines. So you guys, it is so simple to do. Um, you can see just how quick that was. Uh, we how long did that take, Dylan? Less than 10 minutes to transfer that, and we're already almost done with our uh, with our beautiful little monogram there. Right, and Emma bring up, brings up a really good point. You know, uh, wood burning, when it comes down to it, is about personalization. So it's great to have all these pattern packs and the tools to make really straightforward, simple gifts for people, putting monograms on uh, coasters like Emma's doing today. Um, you can also do signs, and there's just so many possibilities with wood burning, and we have so many different projects um, and inspiration for you guys to see on the table, but also on platonline.com uh, slash new. So you'll wanna make sure that you're visiting that landing page. Yeah, absolutely. So you guys, throughout our live stream, let us know if you have any questions about any of our wood burning products. We are excited to share with you all of the information that we know. We are obsessed with these products here at Plaid. So it's really exciting to be able to share all of this information with you guys at home. So that is our wood burning uh, products, Dylan. And should we move on to our engraving tool and yeah. those pattern sheets? So it's kind of similar. Um, we have another pattern pack with four different sheets um, and these are the exact same thing and we did have a question in the comments um, and we've kind of answered it back and forth but just a reminder these are totally reusable these are made of a really durable um, vinyl almost um, and or vellum rather and they're slightly transparent but they're really like tear resistant and rip resistant obviously you can cut through them um, to you know, isolate a design to place onto your project, but they are fantastic for using over and over again. And these we have used several times and they are still pristine. So it's really nice to have these in your collection. So yeah, let's start talking about engraving. Yeah, like Dylan said, you get a, a lot of bang for your buck with those, uh, all of these different pattern sheets. So let's talk about wood uh, or engraving, Dylan. So we have this wonderful plaid engraving tool which of course comes with that little rotary tool that Dylan was talking about earlier. And then it comes with a series of different tips to help you with your engraving projects. And I'll show you guys, uh, we explained it really well on the back of our packaging. So we have this uh, engraving conical tip, which is of course, like it says, great for engraving. And those are great for making some of those medium sized lines. I would say that the conical tip is a really great tip to use for engrave, uh, engravers, of course, for beginner engravers. Um, it is really uh, user friendly, it's really straightforward. And then we move into our sharp tip, which is just like it sounds, for creating those really sharp, precise lines in any of your engraving projects. And then we have this ball tip, which I like to use for creating larger areas of engraving in whatever project I'm doing. Um, again, it's great for larger shapes and shading, that kind of thing. And then we have um, these three tips that you can see here at the bottom, 
which are just kind of like your sidekicks for all of your engraving projects. So we have these tips for the actual engraving part. And then since if you're engraving, you're probably gonna be working with glass or metal or uh, wood. So these are great to have on hand too. We have this sanding band, which is great for sanding down any rougher areas of your wood or your metal that you're working with. We have the grinding tip, which is really great for, of course, grinding and also polishing some of those more um, irregular or irregularities in your surface. And then the buffing tip, which is really great for polishing and for making whatever surface really shiny. It's also a great little cleanup tool after you're done engraving and you're using one of these tips. Sometimes I like to go in with that buffing tip and it really just makes those um, engraving uh, patterns really pop off the surface. So six great tips that come with this tool. Um, and it's just a really great all around tool to pick up and to begin engraving with. You have everything you need. It comes with two AA batteries, so you don't even have to worry about picking those up at the store. And of course it comes in this really uh, nice little storage case. So all of the tips just fall nicely into the case and as well as your rotary tool. And like Dylan said, another great feature of this tool is that it is cordless, so you can engrave anywhere. Right, um, right. So some of the other rotary tools on the market, you are dragged down by a cord, but this one's really convenient because it is battery powered. And I just do want to um, highlight again the fact that Emma said this comes with a carrying case. So this is a really rigid plastic case that you can keep your tool in. It keeps all of your tips separated and you can keep extra batteries in there for the next time that you work. And it's just an easy little enclosure that you open up. So both of our tools here, our deluxe wood burner and our engraver tool um, have these great ca uh, carrying cases. So that's a big perk. Yeah, for sure. And I'll show you guys right here. Here we have our engraver tool right out of the box. It is really simple to use. It's, it feels really nice in your hands. Um, and all you do is press this button and you are good to engrave. So the batteries go in there, it's super easy. And all you do to change out the tips is you just click on this little uh, metal button. You unscrew it, you take your tip out, you place another tip in, and then you um, click the button again and it is locked and ready for you to use. So super, super simple. And if you can see um, on our, my table in front of me here, we talked about all of our wonderful pattern sheets that um, you can find in our uh, wood burning tools and accessories. But we also have some really great pattern sheets for our engraving tool that works really nicely with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show those off. So first we have, uh, these are some of my favorites. You have all of these pet designs which are adorable. Again, they make really great gifts. This would be so cute to uh, engrave one of these onto a glass jar and stick some treats in them and just stick it in your kitchen or your washroom. And then you have these really cute beach designs. And um, like we said, I think we just talked about this briefly, but you can engrave on a variety of different surfaces. So like we said, of course, everyone wants to engrave on glass. Super great for engraving on glass. You can engrave on metal and um, some soft stone. Uh, wood. I mean, there are so many different possibilities of the surfaces that you can engrave on to create really personalized gifts and really beautiful and special pieces of home decor. So we have these pet designs and these beach designs, which are so adorable. And then we have some more kitchen inspired designs. So these are great to make um, maybe casserole dishes with. Of course, once you engrave onto whether it be glass or ceramic, whatever you're engraving on, um, of course it's dishwasher safe. So a uh, saying we like to say here at Plaid is that if it's handmade, then it should probably be hand washed. But you don't have to worry about that with our engraving tool because you are actually making a permanent um, a permanent change into your surface. You are actually engraving into it. You don't have to worry about it um, disappearing in the uh, dishwasher. It's gonna stay there forever. So these would be uh, really great designs to add to some of that kitchenware. It would make a great gift for somebody if you are giving them a delicious dessert. You can also um, give it to them in a really personalized tray. 
So that is a really cute idea. Um, this is one of my favorite patterns to the giving dish, which is so sweet. Okay, so we have our kitchen inspired designs and then we have these really cute kind of party inspired designs. So we talked a little bit about it is wedding season. So if you are you know, planning a wedding on a budget, then this is a really great tool to pick up. So you can make some really personalized pieces of decor or it's really great to give to um, a gift as to somebody who is getting married in your life. So we have Mr. and Mrs groom, bride, um, just all of these really fun party uh, designs that come in this pack. And then lastly, we're going to round it out with another really cute alphabet uh, set. So we have all the letters in the alphabet. We have them in a bigger size and a smaller size. And then we have um, all of the numbers too. So really great uh, sheets to have. And I'm actually going to show you guys two different ways to transfer these patterns onto your engraving surface. So um, if you are a beginner to engraving, one surface that I love to use and I love to recommend to uh, beginners is slate. So we actually have this really great pack of slate coasters that is also available on platonline.com. It comes in this pack of two and it um, it's it's just a pack of two uh, slate coasters that I would definitely recommend if you are a beginner at engraving. And the reason I say that is because um, the surface is uh, really malleable. And so again, you get those really satisfying, precise details into your coaster or into your slate. Um, and it's really, really easy and user friendly. It's really beginner friendly. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing. I'm gonna take our coasters out of our pack here and take one out. And these are great too because they have little foam feet on the back so it's not just a piece of slate. We've designed these so that they, can, they are actually coasters and they work great with our engraving tool and I think you guys will really like seeing it. It's very satisfying on slate. Absolutely. Okay, so there are two great ways to transfer your designs from our pattern sheets onto whatever you're trying to engrave. So the first way is very straightforward. It is the same exact way that we transferred a pattern sheet onto our wood coaster from earlier. You take your piece of transfer paper, which I'll go ahead and cut out another sheet for us to use today. And again, we talked about this briefly before. I just like to cut my, um, my designs down so to make them really workable and easy to use. Let's go for our H this time. We always choose the A. Perfect. Okay. And so really simple, really straightforward. We're gonna grab our tape again. Make sure our waxy side is down. That's our darker side. And just secure that with some tape. And then we're going to secure our pattern down as well. Okay, and so just like before, we're going to use our sharp pencil and just trace our pattern. We have a bunch of people in the comments. Emma, they are really excited about trying these, specifically wood burning. Great. Um, it seems like some of our um, crafters that enjoy wood burning have never really tried engraving. So we welcome you into the engraving world. This the is a great tool club. and pattern pack. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we have transferred our design over. So I'm gonna set that aside and show you another great way to transfer a pattern onto your surface. So I'm gonna keep with the same H just because it's already cut out and ready for us to use. Um, another great thing about these pattern packs is that you, um, they're a little bit uh, 
transparent. Is that the word? Is it transparent or translucent, Dawn? Translucent. Translucent. Yeah. So you can see a little bit of your surface through there. Yeah. Okay, so another great way to transfer over a pattern is I'm going to place the tape onto my uh, little pattern sheet here, and I'm going to make sure that the sticky side is facing me. So then that way, when I stick my pattern into my glass uh, cup here, and I place it down, super easy to do. And we don't even have to whip out our transfer paper. We can just go ahead and start engraving right from there. So really, really simple and easy. I'm gonna set that aside. So two great ways to transfer your pattern. And let's get into a little bit of engraving. I definitely wanna show off our engraving tool today. So um, we have these great monograms and alphabets to choose from in our pattern sets. And then we also have those really great little um, like filigree patterns and super cute details to add to your monogram. So you can see here, this is a B from that alphabet uh, pattern sheet. And then we have these really beautiful um, sprigs of greenery surrounding our B. So another great asset to these pattern sheets is that um, you can get so creative with it. You can mix and match a lot of these different designs like we did. So we used the B here and then we used this um, these sprigs of greenery from our uh, and here. So you can mix and match all of these designs and really, really personalize it to get the pattern that you want, which is what we did. So let's get started with making something similar to this guy here. So talking about safety, we always wanna make sure that whenever you're using any of these tools that you stay super safe. So we talked a little bit about that with our wood burning tool. I like to use a clamp just to make sure that I know exactly where my wood burning tool is and it's not getting away from me. Another thing that I like to use whenever I am engraving is I like to have some safety goggles because of course we're going to be engraving and there's gonna be some of that dust coming up. So we just wanna protect our eyes. Um, you know, if you're a crafter, then your eyesight is definitely very valuable to you. So I'm being mindful of that and I'm just putting on just some regular safety goggles. They don't have to be too crazy. I just don't want any of those particles flying up into my eyes. Okay, so now that I have my safety goggles on, we are ready to engrave you guys. It is super simple. I showed you uh, a little bit ago. All you do is click that button and then uh, you start engraving. So let's do it. Okay, so you can see we made that initial line. And because we transferred our pattern over to our slate surface, I don't wanna wipe it off with my fingers or a paper towel or something like that and then run the risk of wiping off my transferred design. So all I like to do is just give it a little tap on my surface to uh, let go of some of that debris that came loose from the coaster. All right, let's keep going. Tap, tap, tap. And one thing that I like to do when I'm engraving is I kind of like to rock it back and forth. That's a really great technique to have too if you have um, unsteady hands. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to just make one really precise, clean, straight line, unless maybe you're like a heart surgeon or something, but I definitely am not. So one thing that I like to do is rock it back and forth just really slowly and simply. And then I find that by doing that, I can achieve some really straight, clean lines. So I'll show you. We're just rocking it back and forth, just like that, and get that really clean line. once in a while it's good to just kind of tap that off of your surface so that you can see um, how your design is turning out. Wow. 
So super straightforward, super simple and easy to do, you guys. That was so quick and we just whipped out a whole monogrammed coaster. Yeah, absolutely. That looks fantastic. Great. Okay. So do you want to see it on glass a little bit or I'll show you um, one of the projects that we did? Yeah, absolutely. I know a lot of people are going to be excited. Um, that key to transferring the design is that technique that Emma showed you. So placing your pattern inside your glass. It's really, really useful. Yeah, you can see here that's exactly what we did to create um, a coaster like this one. And all we did is just put a piece of paper behind it so that you guys can really clearly see um, that etched design, that uh, engraved design. Um, you know, our studio lights are a little intense for our new product showcase, so we wanted to make sure that you guys were able to see the full um, spectrum of that beautiful design. Right, and engraving is very delicate, so it's hard to see over camera, but it's a great technique. Um, especially when you want to personalize like that uh, wine glass. It's, they're great for weddings. Like Emma said, this is generally all of our tools are fantastic for wedding prep, um, but it's just a great tool to have in your collection. Mm -hmm. And how special would that be to, if you know some special people that are getting married in your life, to give them a set of two wine glasses with their new initials on it or their new name or something that's personal to them. Maybe you do the cat pattern because they're big cat people. That would make a really, really special gift. Um, so, Dylan, I think that kind of wraps up all of the tools that we had to share with everybody today. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, if you're planning on joining us throughout the week, uh, I'll remind you that we have a really uh, packed schedule for you guys. We're going to be going live every single day this week, twice a day. And later this afternoon, we're going to be talking about Folk Art and Apple Barrel new colors and some of our great new plaid wood surfaces. So you'll want to uh, tune in today at three. And if you want to go back and watch this video, it will be on our Facebook page as a post. And you can also find it on our Plaid Crafts YouTube channel. So we look forward to seeing you at our next stream and we'll see you till next time. Bye guys.